Hey guys, this is What If here, and boy, has this been a video I just have completely forgot to do. You can thank Real Radman for reminding me. So, yeah, it this is my NASCAR Heat 3 wish list. Now, um, I said on Twitter, like, um, like, I really wanted to make this video not sound way too similar to Real Radman and David Land's sort of video. I'll leave their um, wish list videos and top 10 um, thing in the description of the video. So you can watch it for yourself. I'm sure most of you that have, are subscribed to me have probably seen it, but I want you to at least see what the points that they made that I agree with are. So, um, yeah. So I, I made myself a little list, and this is just stuff that I, you know, would like to see in Heat 3. A lot of it, for the most part, is kind of... It's like nearly the same sort of thing that I had in the basic needs for an ass cream video, so I'm going to probably be re reiterating the same point with a little bit of different stuff here and there based on what I've seen from Heat 2. So, the first and foremost thing for Heat 3 is career mode needs to be tougher. It needs to be way tougher. I mean, my god, have you seen my playthrough? <laughs> I won 32 of the 36 races. Granted, it was a 5 star team. But even still, with me tinkering with the game off camera and three star stuff, it's still really easy. I mean, it's, I mean, really all I had to do was pretty much lower the wedge and I was better than mid pack. <laughs> so, yeah. And if you have 25% uh, race length and four times wear, it, uh, it breaks the field. It breaks the game. So they pit at unopportune times, and then you finish better than where you probably should. So it's even even without that, and they pit normally, or more, I guess, logically, you're still finished pretty well. So overall, the career mode has to be much tougher. It absolutely must, because this this was a, was a cakewalk, at least to do. So, yeah. Um, the second one is... For career mode and championship mode, show how many laps there is for stages. And I'm sure for career mode that is possible as well. This is basically a point that Windvals mentioned very early on in the career mode, or at least in his career mode. And basically, I mean, it just, they, I don't think that would be impossible to do. Say if it's like Dover and you're doing a 25% race. Basically, it would just show like S1 equals 25, S2 equals 25, and then S3 is 50 or whatever. So, even something like that would be a help. And then also, when you're under caution, it would show like how many laps left are in the stage as well, instead of just the overall laps remaining in the entire race itself. So, I think those um, little touches for that would help just a little bit. So, it gives you a little bit of an idea because if there's a caution, near the end of a stage but doesn't end the stage you might want to decide to either stay out or pit and you don't know so it would help with those sort of situations so I really want uh, that to be I guess included. Another thing I would like to see heavily improved is the graphics. Maybe not so much like the actual look of the game but I definitely absolutely want the frame rates to be more consistent. There's no excuse for a current generation console like you know Xbox One and a PS4 to have frame rate drops when it's only running at 30 frames per second. There is absolutely no excuse, and that apps that needs to be fixed. That no ifs, ands, or buts. That needs to be fixed. That's just it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Just that needs to be fixed. Another thing would be able to scroll through the race results yourself instead of the game doing it for you. This was something that was always kind of just annoying to look through because you can't see everything in like two seconds when it's up so that needs to be an option I don't know why like that that, that doesn't seem to be like an impossible thing to do but it would just be convenient to to look through the race results yourself instead of it just kind of scrolling so that would that would be nice another thing would just be you know rotating the camera around the car with the right analog stick What's weird is in split screen, when you have that, you hit like maybe RB and it looks back. But that's not in the game when you're in single players. So it's very weird. That That is really weird. I don't know why 
that's just so difficult or hard to do, but it would just be nice, especially if you're online racing as well. Like, that would be, it would just be nice so you know where the hell people are around you and can avoid all the stupid stuff or just, just, it just seems so, I guess, easy to do. I just hope it's in the game. Also, a track map. Please, can I have a track map? So I know where the, the entire field is. I know, here we go. Oh, it's not realistic. Well, how about you have a, you know, a HUD option when you pause the game and switch it off or any sort of thing you want switched off for the HUD. <laughs> it's, please, that would be nice. Especially when you're online racing so you can at least prepare yourself for any stupid crap that goes on. That's something I was noticing a lot now that I've been doing online racing a little bit more on Heat 2. Whether if it's hopping on Windvouse, uh, Stream, or Joseph's. It would be so nice just to know your surroundings. It would just, it would be such a big help. That would be nice. Also, have the host control the lobby when they start it. That was something I know they're, they're, they're wanting to have happen, so I'm sure that's going to be in the game. But, yeah, that would be nice to have the host actually control the lobby and start it when he wants. Also, another thing that I think would be doable, very doable, is have a trophy room. Kind of like NASCAR Thunder Games had, where if you want to race, it would show your trophies. So, if you're going to be in multiple series, you can pick from, you know, which one you want to look at and look through your career uh, in your career mode, like all the trophies you've won. That would be nice to see and also would kind of give you more of an incentive to model trophies based on real life. And then when you win them, you can actually look at them. It, that would be neat. At least, even for the Xfinity and Truck Series as well, to model like the trophy designs. So that would that would it would just be something that'd be nice and kind of cool to look at. So that you already have them in the game, so you can definitely have it be a showcase sort of thing in your career mode. Also, caution replays. Caution replays would be nice. So when there's a caution, you know what happened. With Heat Two, sometimes there's stupid things that happen, and I would love, I would love to see a caution replay and see how silly it is. That would be nice. Please, please. Also. <clears throat> For Heat 3, can you please, please fix the icy grass? For the love of God, please. It's so bad. You shouldn't touch the grass and the thing just absolutely wants to, to spin out or just drive straight. Like, please, that would be nice. Grass does not act like that. I don't know what grass you've ever seen, but grass does not act like that. It's something I'm mainly, well, I'm, I'm including it because I absolutely do not like how it acts, but also because Widvow has had so many issues with it, I had to include this and mention it as well. Please. Please, just fix the grass so you, you don't, it's not a skating rink. I mean, you already have, like, the thing where, you know, if somebody goes off track or tries to, you know, corner cut, it gives you a time penalty or it slows your car down, so there's really no need to have the grass act like that. And I, it, it's just, it's just, it's so unrealistic for an arcade sim that it's ridiculous. Please fix it. Another really cool thing I would like to see, and this is again kind of bringing up the same point David Land did, but I really want this point, I guess, to be driven home, and I guess maybe because I personally would love to see it, is classic drivers and drags. There are so many possibilities and options you can go for that. That would just be amazing. I mean, that would be, like, DLC for that sort of stuff, even if it's, like, $2, $5, or whatever, people are going to buy that like crazy. I mean, it would be, I mean, to me, I just thought think it would be such a good investment. You know, you could have classic tracks like North Wilkesboro, Rockingham, Nazareth. Freaking, oh, the list goes on and on and on. Classic cars, not maybe not like exactly classic cars, even if you can't get the like models of the classic cars like the Gen 3 or Gen 4 or whatever. Like for, you know, like Daryl Waltrip or Kale Yarbrough, like, oh my god, Davey Allison, Alan Quickie, Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon, Rusty Wallace, Mark Martin. There are so many. Like, even if you had, like, a, even if you had them, like, their paint schemes or sponsors, like, kind of, like, it as, like, the Gen 6 car, that would be awesome to see. That, it would. It would, it just would. People would pay so much, not so, maybe not so much, but people would absolutely pay 
for that sort of stuff. And, like, that is DLC people will, at, will love to get. Even if there's, like, DLC for, like, you know, you know, legend drivers or, you know, classic drivers and all that sort of stuff. People will, will, will play. People were absolutely excited when the Charlotte Roval wasn't, like, announced to be a part of the DLC. People, people were way more excited than they were with the Heat Evolution 2017 update. Because there was a new track. Even just one track people were really excited about. So, this would be so, just so nice. Like, to see. And I don't think it would be impossible. I don't think so. It would be so cool to have that. Also, this is just me. And I don't think it will happen. But, I would love to have, like, an old school format for the championship mode. Where, it, it just, like, under, under the selection, it just has... The full schedule, 24 races, 12 races, and then maybe there will be one where it just has, like, the Winston Cup format. Winston Cup format. I, I love that format. I love that, you know, that that sort of point standing sort of situation. Maybe not, like, obviously recreating, like, the original points from, like, 75 to 2003, but having a season or a full season without any playoffs or chase would be so cool to kind of do in a modern ass game. Championship mode is the closest thing to it, and I, I'm very happy with that, but it would be really cool to kind of have, you know, the Winston Cup sort of format where it's full 36 races with uh, no points, you know, no playoff points and stages and all that good stuff. Also, it's a point that I've driven home many times, but more stats. I want more stats. I want a comprehensive, well, I kind of like Dirt Daytona. Like, that would be fine. Dirt Daytona has like that, where you go through the Almanac and... It shows all the stuff for modifieds, all the, all the stuff for dirt. It shows wins, top five, top tens, average, you know, everything. Even that would be so nice to see. I'm happy that they implemented it in E2. But I would love a little bit more of a comprehensive, like, stat spreadsheet of your career. That would be really cool. Also, my final point, I would love to see the R&D for NASCAR Heat 3 to be much more detailed instead of the star ratings and the momentum that you get if you finish top 10 three races in a row or something i would love to have an r&d like dirt daytona now even nascar he evolution like was okay it was i mean it was a little bit too lin linear for my standards but it was definitely it was nice so say if you were in a three-star team or or whatever or a junk car like you can r&d it and get get it to be competitive over a course of a uh, you know multiple seasons, that would be so nice. Again, if it was if if that sort of element with the R and D was like Dirt Daytona, that would be I'll be so happy with that. Like that would be so nice, because it is really dumb that if you pick a three star team, there's no way you can improve the car or do anything to it. There's no R and D. All the money you get doesn't you don't do anything with it. So. There's obvious room for improvement. Actually, it was de-improvement because they took that away. <laughs> but, yeah, something like that would be nice. And it really should be in Heat 3. Like, a, even if... I'm, I'm not expecting, like, like a, uh, like a tree branch sort of thing like F1 2017 has, where it's, like, upgrades within an upgrade within a section sort of crazy thing. But, like, definitely some sort of, you know, upgrades would be really nice to see. And I think that's... I think, you know, fairly doable. Also, if you're going to go with the star system again, have it, instead of being from 3 to 5, have it be from 1 to 5. Because I think 3, uh, from 3 to 5, is not too big of a gap. Because also, you know, it, it's it's weird because, like, some drivers that are, like, like premiums, like a 3-star team, so that's like saying it's a, a little bit above average, but you see, like, their speed, and it's like, I just don't know how that's a 3 so I think a little bit more of a variety and gap in between would be a lot better. So if you're going to go with the star rating again, definitely have like from 1 to 5. And also, I I personally would think getting a 5-star ride for truck, fitting and cup should be much harder. Like, you should not get any of those. You should not get a 5-star or 4-star ride in in the cup, fitting and truck if you're doing hot seats or anything or anything right off the gate. Like, if you have that option, that should not even be a chance in the first season. That's that's at least what I would like, because I think that would, well, it would extend the longevity of the career mode, and you wouldn't have the option to be in a top tier ride right off the bat. So I think that would be nice to see. So, yeah, that that's just I guess my personal like thing, but that would just be really nice.
Also, one final little touch that I would just want to address is, again, it sounds probably silly, but I would love for it if you move up from the, you know, from the truck series to Xfinity, the series below it, you know, the truck series, the AI amp their game up and they're about as hard as they can possibly be. It's almost exactly like how it is in Dirt State Tony when you move up from the next series and the series below it. The AI kind of max out their their you know upgrades, so the difficulty for that if you ma if you know if you max out your truck series stuff in your R and D, they will be right there with you in terms of pace. So it will always be sort of challenging for that series. So I think that would be a really good thing to have, because even if you max out your car, it still gives them you know difficulty and challenge. And I don't think the game will lose much replay value if that was the case. That is one element Dirt Tone I do like. You can say what you want about the driving model or the graphics or, or anything, but that aspect alone gives it replay value, at least in that regard, and I would love to see that in Heat 3. So I have two more left here on this list, and basically it is better AI pit strategy, please, for, st for the stage racing. There's many instances where they just pit at bad opportune times. Or at the end of a stage they should pit because there's no way they could even make it to the end of stage two and then they pit during green and it's especially absolutely bad if it's martinsville or bristol because then there'll be multiple laps down so that that really needs to be fixed they really that needs it, it breaks the game at least in that regard because it gives you an easy win you can just pretty much lap nearly the whole field so yeah better pit strategy for the ai under like the stage cautions and all that sort of stuff so they know when to pit and when not to that would be nice. Like they like they know how many laps there is for all the stages, and they can kind of judge on how much fuel they have, and then they, they they that can determine whether they stay out or not. But that would be really nice to see. And the final thing is a paint booth, like an actual, you know, fully comprehensive paint booth. Again, per, me personally, I don't use it too much because I suck at designing things. But there are so many people in the NASCAR community that can design crazy and amazing paint schemes, and that would be so nice to actually have that. I mean, it's we've gotten like little templates for Heat 2, but I would love a full breakdown, detailed, very customizable paint booth. That would be nice to see. Well, I guess along with that and as well like the, the templates as well for the lazy bastards like me. So, <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. That would That just seems something like people really, really want and I think should be in the game, as well as doing burnouts, victory celebrations. I want my Alan Kowicki tribute. I want it. I want it. Okay? I I cannot do my Polish victory lap if I can't do a victory lane celebration. That's all the things I have to uh, discuss. Again, I try my best not to really reiterate the same points Real Rabbit and David Land did. But I think overall, for the most part, a lot of these things that I, I would like to see are pretty simple things like little added touches here and there and uh, trust me those little touches here and there go a long ways for a game and considering like you know what this company is i'm not going to go into this expecting oh i want i want face scanning i want like i want 1440p graphics with 120 frame rates <laughs> like I, I'm, a lot of these are pretty realistic and doable so yeah, at least, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below if you agree with the points I've said. Uh, share this video with 7 Games and Sean Wilson. Share David Land's and Real Radman's video to Sean Wilson. Make sure they, they, they are aware with it. And also share any uh, video that Disco Inferno has as well because every video he makes about NASCAR Heat 3 and what that can be implemented is always pretty damn good. So definitely do that. Make sure our voices are heard. So... Yeah, I'm looking forward to how Heat 3 is going to be, and I have almost a 4 out of 10 expectations, maybe a 5, but it's right around there, so that would be nice, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, if you stuck around, hope you enjoyed the points I made up, and yeah, I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.